So you might rightly ask, what was the point of that epic lightsaber display? Well, it was to show off my light sword video light. But to be more precise, it's to show off the light sword's articulated bracket that was 3D printed and I thought it might be of interest to some of you guys. Now the light sword bracket is designed to fit onto a standard light stand. You can swivel about the, uh, about the stand and it has two other articulations and that's the uh, elbow join that allows it to tilt down and tilt back up. And then there's the uh, light bracket, which allows the light to tilt, to rotate left and right. I designed this light for a few reasons. The first one is that it's, it can be run off 12 volts, so it's a portable light, so it can be used outside where there's no electricity. And the second reason is that a lot of video lighting, when used outdoors, can be so easily blown over with a small breeze and the thin nature of the of the light sword means that uh, it's much less likely to be affected by wind. There's the toggles that have the uh, um, quarter inch nut already glued in place with aerodite. Then there's the light bracket. You can see a rosette on one side and on the other there's a channel for a, a nut to go inside and now there's the elbow joint that has the rosettes as well that mesh with the other other brackets and finally there's the light stand bracket that has the rosette to mesh with the other elbow joint all these are quarter inch screws the first one is a little toggle screw the second one is a one and a half inch bolt. The third is a two and a half inch bolt. And then there you can see a small spring that I use to fit around the, uh, the larger of the two bolts, the two and a half inch bolt. And then there's two washers. And then there's uh, four dome top quarter inch bolt bolts. start by screwing in the toggle bolt into the light mount next we'll attach the light mount to the elbow we're using the two and a half inch bolt with that spring. And the beauty of having the spring is that um, it adds a bit of back pressure so you don't have to crank it all the way down and it can still hold the weight of the, the weight of the light sword.
Now take the one and a half inch bolt and place it in the light bracket mount. the bracket all put together. Okay, and now I'll add the bracket to the back of the light sword using the uh, dome top quarter inch nuts. And now we'll tighten it in place with a spanner or socket and a screwdriver or a power driver. Okay, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up or even leave a comment down below. See you next time.